if talking in a spa chamber is your form of enjoyment. You obviously tend towards drama in the first place, okay? You should be there to compete, not to cause drama. That, that's the way I look at it. All right, happy Wednesday, y'all. So, I've been sort of keeping up with what's happening in the Wizard 101 side of things, the little bit that I've been on Twitter and Discord and such. And apparently people are not allowed to queue in PvP when they are mute. Of course, they can go appeal those those mutes to customer service, all that, right? And I think that's a that's a good thing for Wisdom 101. Just knowing what I know about how seriously they take rank, I think that that is a meaningful consequence. Um, especially considering how much you lose outs when you have to make a new character and you have to grind and farm all the stuff, you know? Which I don't think the, the grinding and farming stuff is a particularly good part of either Pyro 101 or Wizard 101. I'm talking about this not because, you know, I'm some big Wizard 101 expert, but correct me if I'm wrong. What happens in Wizard 101 always migrates its way over to Pyro 101. Almost always. All the recent changes, the key bosses, the team up kiosk, all that stuff that we've been getting in this game have been pretty much copy and paste over from Wizard 101, right? Because the people who work on this game are more in touch with Wizard 101 and they're not exactly looking necessarily at the, the issues um, this, the, in this game that need to be addressed. Not not to the extent that, that they are in Wizard 101, right? So the reason I'm talking about this is because we can expect changes like that to come to this game, right? You know? And I'm not going to say these changes are going to be particularly bad. I don't think that the game will be negatively or positively, positively affected by um, mutes being banned from the Rank PvP cube, right? Now, if you go around and you brag about your 2k rank here in this game, if you, you know, put on a champion weapon, you'll walk up to any Joe Schmo player, right? And the majority of these players are PvE players, right? You know, not hating on PvE, right? But you go up, you're this big PvP head, right? Quote, unquote. And you walk up and you say, oh man, I'm a I'm a fall PvP champion, man. Look at my 2k rate. And the PvE player will be like, oh, huh, you boosted for that. Here's my weapon. They'll show you their champion weapon and then they'll laugh. And you know, rightly so, you know. If you just if you brag about if you brag if you brag about being, you know, uh, a particular rank in, in PvP in this game, you know, you you deserve to be climbed a little bit, right? Um now, I'm not saying this to be toxic or anything, right? Um, <laughs> most of the times, I just keep my chat off, right? Um, I mean, I, I don't really chat much in this game at all. I have, like, eight accounts open at the same time. So, if you want to get my attention, you gotta message me on Discord, right? That leads me to think that a better idea to address any type of toxic behavior in PvP is to have all chat muted in the PvP areas in general. Okay? Now, players in both games have shown, you know, time and time again, that they cannot be mature. Uh, particularly when they're competing, you know, people should should compete, right? It, it's it brings out the best and it brings out the worst in people, and that that's important. Um, but what what should what should be uh what should be done in Pirate One Hundred One's case? I, I kind of like what they did in Wizard One Hundred One. It works for their team, but in Pirate One Hundred One, I think in general it might be a good idea to. 
not allow anything, not not allow any any chatting at all in those areas. You know, it's it, 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 if talking in a spa chamber is your form of enjoyment, right? You obviously tend towards drama in the first place, okay? You should be there to compete, not to cause drama. That, that's the way I look at it. So I say the spar chamber and the brawling hall should be no chat, just chat, chat zones, you know? It really should. And for the people who are there to compete and be good sportsmen, I don't think that that will affect them very much at all. For the people who are there for drama, you you'll you'll hear the you know crack your chat. Oh man, what 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 if, what if I was banned for you know for for the wrong reasons, man? What what if I were you know, what what if I what if I was really sorry, you know? Uh, Rapier, could you please unban me? You know, you, you could just picture those people in Rapier's chat right now. You know, Rapier telling them it's up to the uh, customer service. You know. It is, you know, um, this, this one guy, you know, he, he's only supposed to do one job, but I don't know, it's kind of funny, uh, it's kind of funny watching those people, but, uh, that's, that's my, that's my, um, that's my proposal for Pirate, for Pirate 101, because it, it is a different game than Wizard 101. So, those are my thoughts, guys, um, those are my thoughts. I think really making PvP in this game more meaningful um, and more accessible, more meaningful so that some of the, the PvE players in this game will have a reason to, have a greater reason to uh, PvP. And also more accessible so that new players can come into this game because of the competitive features in this game. You know, I think that should that deserves some focus uh, especially considering how small the player base is it, i think that there's a lot of potential to expand based off of, based off of the pvp in this game and a lot of that does come down to combat you know the stuff that affects both pve and pvp because people people are going to be playing through the combat in this game as pve players who were interested in possibly doing pvp and they're going to be like I don't really like these game mechanics, you know? Now, some of them are going to be thinking that, and then they're going to quit this game, and like, I don't really want to do PvP later on. Why am I doing all this grinding, you know? So, I, I'm going to talk about that in another video, y'all. 